Fraud is real, y'all. Hey, I've been working with a fella named Paul. Paul originally called me because he wanted to list and sell a vacant lot in the Bonita Springs Estero area. Now, Paul didn't realize that I was going to ask for some sort of federal ID. So when I asked for federal ID, I didn't hear from him for a few days. But in the meantime, I looked him up on some software I have and I actually called. I left a voicemail, he called me back, and guess what? I was talking to a whole different Paul that does not want to sell his land in Bonita Springs, Estero, Florida area. So I have a fake Paul, I have a real Paul, and today, days later, Paul, the fake Paul, sends me a photograph of the real Paul and Paul's wife's driver's license. And they look good. They look real. Like legit, these scammers are going to such great extent, they are getting documentation that looks like legitimate, real federal ID. It's amazing what they're doing right now. So I texted fake Paul's driver's licenses to the real Paul. It's not their pictures because I thought somehow they got into a database of like the DMV and they're not their photos and it is almost their real addresses. There's a, a slight difference that I won't disclose what it is in case fake Paul's watching. Hey Paul. Um, so here we are with a tale of a couple of Pauls and this is a lesson for those of you who have real estate anywhere in the United States. Number one, if you have vacant land, it's up for grabs. This happens a lot with vacant land. People are always trying to scam. Number two, if you are a foreign national, you have no uh, access to the property. Maybe you are hard to mail to. So it's uh, you maybe aren't paying attention. Number three, if somebody in your family has passed away and owns property, that means that there's like a lot of confusion. Uh, probate may not have started and they're trying to sell it out from underneath. Somebody who isn't there keeping an eye on things. So do yourself a favor, pay really close attention, start following your real estate. Uh, you can do a title lock. You can do a fraud alert on um, leakclerk.org. And you can third, start going to websites that sell real estate, favorite your property and follow it. Because if you see it get listed and you know it should not be listed, that's when you take action. So stay alert out there, folks. It's something else.